I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, and welcome to today's Mental Toughness Moment. In my consulting practice, I really aim to help people, all of us, to think less, more strategically. And I was just reading and updating myself on all things sports, and I came across an article about last week's U.S. Open golf, and there was a section about Rory McIlroy, and I'm reading this article, and I understand it's media. It's supposed to be entertainment. They're, the writer is doing a very good job keeping us on our seats, you know, a little bit of uncertainty, can he, can't he, and there's a lot of content. There's a lot of dialogue. It's, it's an article that's doing what it's supposed to do for the spectator. But for Rory as a performer, as he's reading this article, if he's reading this article, he needs to really have the discipline and the skill set to think less, more strategically, to sort through all the fluff and really focus on the things that are going to help him to succeed. So I thought that I would dive into this particular article give you examples too specifically, and then we can bring it into your own life. So the first thing that I want to talk about is they open up saying that Rory McIlroy is a four-time major champion. He has won a major four times in his career. And then they go into saying that it has been nine years since his last major. And I want to get the numbers right, so I'm reading it. In addition to saying nine years since his last major, it has been 3,234 days since his last win. The next major, which is in a month from the time of this recording, will be the 34th major without a win. So we're really focusing on one fact, but many different ways to say it, which is offering, again, the audience excitement. But if Rory's reading this, a whole lot of clutter. For Rory to think less, more strategically, It's best for him to focus on the fact that he has won four times. And if he's won, he can do it again, period. He doesn't need to think about how many majors he's played, how many days it's been, how many years it's been. He has won, which which is a lot more he, he can say for himself compared to other golfers who maybe have never won. He's won before. He can do it again, period. Think less, more strategically. The second part of the article really talked about his last performance and how he lost by one stroke. That is true. He lost by one stroke. And they wrote in the article that he came up short again and he let others slip past him. And that in the last, or sorry, he has finished top eight in the last seven of nine majors. Two of those finishes were runner up. One of them was third place. They continue on with the exact same stats, just different ways. Um, This will be the second time, sorry, this is the fourth time in two years that he has finished top five. This is the second time in the last four majors that he let athletes or let golfers slip past him. Again, a lot of talk, a lot of clutter, entertaining for the reader But for Rory, he needs to focus on things like this. And I am now going to talk about what he says he was focusing on. He says, I'm actually so close to winning. I am so close. If I continue to do what I'm doing, I will get there soon enough. He would go through 100 of these Sundays where he missed by one stroke, but he would go through 100 of them to have that sweet victory in the end. Then he talked about how he played great golf, just two or three strokes he'd want to take back. With his putting, sometimes the speed was off, too short, too long. With a wedge shot, he one time he needed to wait, you know, a few seconds for the gust to come and go. Do you see the difference? One is talking about all the different ways to say that he's, you know, close but no cigar. And then Rory's focusing on, I am so close and I am almost there. And I've done all these great things. I just have to work on this and this. Because he also says it's fine margins. Think less, more strategically. And then the final thing that I want to say is that Rory says that he is already focused on the next major, which is the open a month from, from the time of this recording. He is already focused on what is next. Thinking less more strategically. Now you don't have articles that you can go and sort through to compare 
right? Your, your stories and compare the thoughts to help you think less and more strategically. But you have written numerous articles about yourself in your private voice. Pull them out. Look at all the things that you have been saying about yourself and see how you can do exactly what I did with this article. See how you can see all the clutter, all the things that aren't serving you and see how you can think less more strategically to get you in a mindset, to get you in an emotional state, to get you ready to move on to what is next. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the space provided. Go to my website, opt in, connect with me. You can even ask me to create a specific video and I will go ahead and absolutely do that for you. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.